Hey, what's up, Amazon? This is Donovan here to do a video review of this quadcopter drone from a company called Hollystone. Don't know if you can see that, but um, they are known for their quadcopters, uh, specifically mostly toy version, but uh, this is kind of one of their, uh, I would say, mid-ranger uh, quadcopters. Um, so just some of the specs that you get with this. So first of all, um, it does feature a headless mode. Um, it does also have a one key return, um, both on the app and on the actual controller. Um, it has first person viewing as well, so you can go ahead and uh, watch using whatever device you might have connected to it. Um, you can actually watch what the camera is seeing uh, from that device, which is pretty cool. Um, it does have a 720p, it does support 720p first person viewing as well. Um, there's four different modes for flying. Personally, I always used my, uh, mode two, or that was my preferred mode. Um, but there are four different modes for flying, some of them easier, some of them more difficult. Um, and then uh, this does also have a 350 milliamp hour uh, lithium polymer battery, uh, which for me, that got me about seven to eight minutes of flight time, um, which you know isn't too bad. Um, that's pretty much right in the standard of what you would get with most quadcopters, especially in like the mid-range toy area. Um, and then this does also have uh, 2.4 gigahertz connectivity. So um, it's going to connect directly to uh, this controller. So this is the controller that it comes with. Um, so this is has multiple uh, options depending on which mode you're in, um, but the buttons do various things. Um, so this is the controller that it comes with. This takes four uh, AAA, or AA batteries, I'm sorry. Uh, so four AA batteries to control it. Um, some of the other things that it comes with uh, are some extra propellers there, some extra gears. Uh, this is for connecting to your controller and then putting your phone, uh, so mounting your phone onto the controller so that you can do that first person viewing. And uh, it does come with a 4 gig SD card here, or micro SD card, and uh, this is uh, a USB connector for it. So you can plug it into your computer directly, and then uh, it comes with this little screwdriver. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and switch it on while we're waiting here. And so it's trying to connect right now, so you can see it has those LEDs down here. Uh, we have our camera, and uh, it's currently turned on. You can see the camera's connected, and this is our, re our receiver for the, the 2.4 gigahertz. And uh, this is what we're gonna connect uh, in order for charging it. And you can see here, this is a USB on the other end. And uh, this is the proprietary connector that it uses for charging. Um, so right now it is, appears that it is looking for something to connect to. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to my iPad. So my iPad's all nasty here, but let's go ahead and I let my kids play with the iPad all the time. And uh, all right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and jump into my Wi-Fi, and uh, we're gonna connect to the quadcopter. Okay, so now uh, now that we're connected, I'm gonna jump into the app that it uses. So this is Hollystone FPV. Um, now I will say this: there's a picture of my little daughter. Cute, huh? All right, so um, this app works quite well with uh, iOS devices, because I tried it with my wife's iPhone 5S and her SE, she has both, one for work, one for personal use, and uh, worked fine with both of those. It also worked very well with my iPad, um, but when I tried connecting it to two different Android phones that I have, um, I could not get the app to download correctly. So I'm actually gonna show you that real quick. Uh, so I tried downloading it onto this, this is kind of a cheaper junk uh, phone, but um, I also tried to connect it to a couple of nicer phones, uh, like a Note 7 and with no luck. So here are my downloads. Uh, so right there is the APK that it uses, uh, and so it's the same thing. And then when you go in here, it kind of it tries to get you to go to Chrome or HTML Viewer, which in, in both cases, it will not actually get the download for the... Um, so it'll say downloading, but then it never actually goes in and uh, downloads the actual app. So we can come in here, and again, it's just not going to go. So uh, I'm not exactly sure if there's a workaround with that, but um, yeah, so the Android, I, I haven't been able to figure that out. But So whenever I was using my Android phone, I would just use the controller, um, but uh, with the app you can go ahead and use it this way so that's just going to tell you that it is connected um, and 
and go ahead and turn that on. And once we do that, it will give us the option to, so now the, it actually has um, the camera connected so you can see that uh, I can turn the camera towards me, you can look around, there I am. All right, so you can see kind of the quality of the camera there. Um, and then, let's see here, get rid of that. There we go, all right, engine start, so you can see it's starting. And uh, I can actually start lifting it off, which I don't really want to do, but I can throttle it up there. We're gonna go ahead and kill it here. All right, so you can see that uh, these all the controls work with the uh, with the iPad very, very well. Um, same is true also with um, with uh, any iOS device. It worked very, very well. Um, and then this would go ahead and uh, we can create a pattern for it to fly in. Uh, this is for uh, taking uh, pictures with it, video, and uh, multiple controls that you can go through. And uh, I'll just give you a quick sample of some of the videos that I took um, with the iPad. Now the quality of the video camera isn't phenomenal. Um, so you can kind of see that in this. Uh, so this is an iPad Air here, and uh, so that's just some of the video I took with this device, or with the, the actual drone while I was flying it a little bit earlier today. Uh, in terms of control with this, uh, with this um, quadcopter, the controls are very, very simple. I mean, this thing flies uh, very smoothly. Um, especially if you're in mode two. So mode two actually just kind of keeps it hovering at one height, which is what you can kind of see with this video. It just kind of stays as that one height until you fly it up, um, which is really nice. It's very easy to control that way. Um, and eventually right here, I think I crash. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. So I crashed into some wood chips, but anyways, uh, so that is just a quick look at this quadcopter from Hollystone. Awesome quadcopter. Uh, in terms of video, I would say that's kind of a negative, but in terms of the actual flight and the build of this thing, um, I do like that. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful for you. If this is a quadcopter that you're interested in purchasing, uh, I enjoyed it. I've, I've enjoyed using it. Um, it's been a lot of fun. And uh, anyways, as always, thanks for watching. And uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down there and I'll try to help you out with that. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.